G'day guys, thanks for joining me once again for In The Car With Mossy. Uh, this week we have one of the rising stars of track and field in Australia. She's fairly young, she's got herself a bronze medal uh, in the bag. She got that at last year's Commonwealth Games in Glasgow in her event, the Javelin, where she chucked a beauty out there in the final chuck to put herself on the podium. We think she's a legend, we know she's a huge fan of Mossy and Robbo, so we thought while we're down here in Canberra, why don't we throw her in the car? And uh, today is none other than Kelsey Lee Roberts. I just want to go back last year, Com Games. Yeah. Finals. I love reliving this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Talk us through like, what was it like in the bowels of the stadium about to uh, get ready to go out there? How were you feeling? Oh wow, yes, yeah, so I've never experienced anything like that. Yes. Yeah. I went a couple of days earlier when they have like track and field first started and I was like, hey, yep. I'll get in there, get a sense of what it's like, hear the Hamden roar, yeah, kind yeah. of that whole thing, get a bit of a sense of an idea of what it's going to be like. And before that, I actually went in when it was open into the centre and yep. sussed it out, okay, so I'm throwing from. But when you walk out there for an actual event, yeah. you're in the middle of it, you get just noise from every direction. And it's like it's over, right, Robbie Crowley talked about this, Droogie says, right over the top yeah, of it, you know. you literally feel like you're in like, almost a fishbowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's just from everywhere. Uh, so much fun though. Yeah, I'm sure. Wow. And like, you just look into the crowd and you don't know anybody, but people are waving and smiling <laughs> at you and you're just like, hey! You know, did you spot us there at all? Uh, yeah, I saw oh, you guys. Oh, of course we did. Yeah, yeah, with Jumpy. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> Jumpy. We've got actually... Jumpy too in the Jumpy back, but it's that? just not quite there yet. Oh. I'm trying to get Robo to just let go. He's just hanging on to go uh, to uh, Glasgow. You need something new. You need, need right. something else. Well, we've got um, Rio next year, so we're trying to. We want it. We're going to Rio. Yes. People keep asking, us, "Are you going to Rio?" And I, say, I just say, "Yep, we're going." Yeah. We'll figure out a way of making yeah. it happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, but Robo just hasn't let go. That's okay. <laughs> he still wears his Aussie gear around. Yeah. Well, I mean, saw last week with with Jug in the car, and he's yeah. like. Headband, yeah. kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You should have seen when we landed, because a lot of people probably not, don't know. When we actually landed, you know, we had, or even before we left, we had the full replica kit. Yeah. So it looked exactly the same. Yeah. It just didn't have the the actual logo. We we had like a uh, I don't know what it was. It was would it just been like a Diodora? Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, it was classic. As soon as we we got on the trains to, in Sydney, and people were going, "Good luck, guys. You go well." <laughs> We were like, yeah, we were on the four by 400 metres. That's what we were telling them. And it, we were carrying it on into Glasgow, yeah. like, but it got to the point where kids wanted autographs. And oh, wow. I was keen to go with it, and Robo just I was going to say, she just ridden yeah, that wave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Famous, yeah sure. famous enough to have an autograph. Yeah, exactly. Well, funnily enough, we actually got this. We, we, we were both a bit shocked by this, but a kid came up to us yesterday at the Camera Track Classic and goes, yeah. can I get your autograph? Yes. And Robo tried to talk him out of it. No so, way. Yeah, no, he's watch every show. It's good to know we've got one person out there. Oh, at least he's it. like not saying, oh, you were that 4x400. Four yeah, blah, blah, blah. that's right. <laughs> that would have been gold, absolutely. So last night, Canberra Track Classic, huge crowd. It was oh, just electric, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great. I was chatting to a couple of people afterwards and I was like, I've never seen it like this. And yeah. it makes such a difference. Like yeah. it, it just is an awesome atmosphere and it really like lifts all the competitors and yeah. lifts the competition. So. Plus you've got a fast track and you know, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean ACT or Athletics ACT, you know, should put a bid in for a nationals at some stage yeah. in the next sort of five years. You know? I think so. I was talking about that to the Canberra Times. I was reading an article this morning and I, I'd love to see the nationals here, but I think she was saying like they need to invest in a warm up track. Yeah, right. If yeah. that happens. Which is fair enough. I mean Yeah. Yeah, yeah our, our main stadium is is mint and I think that oh, yeah. produced some awesome results last night. So Come on, ACT government. Yeah, come on, guys. Make it happen. Yeah. Any offerings, we're watching you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, so the, the Monday last night, very, very fast. Lots of PBs. It's known in Canberra to be a fast track. Mm. From a javelin perspective, does that help? I mean, it's not a huge run-up, but does it help at all? Uh, uh, look, personally, like the, the run-up or the, tr the surface that you run up to yep. doesn't really make that much of a difference. We're not running long, in, long, long enough distance. Yeah. Make like, but what is nice is seeing like this pristine grass. Ah, <laughs> nice. Yes. I mean, just even looking at like the photos people take and the colour of the of the outfield. Yeah. So that that's always just a, an 
aesthetics kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no it's, it's looking really good. Yeah. And obviously having Sally and uh, Mel there last night going head to head was big for the crowd as well, which is yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, so in the Javelin, uh, I think my PB's about 1842. Yes. Which I threw <laughs> through the Blue Track Classic. I haven't thrown since Little A's, probably back 1987, so oh. it was a while ago. Yeah. But um, what are the most important parts of the technique? Like, for, there'll be kids all over the world watching this today, Kelsey. Yeah. So, yeah, as far as the technique goes, so kind of break it down for us. Oh, well, I mean, for me, I'm always going to look for or, like, try and encourage a thrower to have a really long arm. So okay. you get the... A long maximum, arm, like you got to grow it, like, or yeah, like just stretch it out. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can have like a long arm through your pull, that's like a long levers, so you yeah, can have yeah. extra time to pull the javelin. Yeah. So that's kind of the first thing I reckon you need to to work at. Yep. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. It's really hard from a like beginner's point of view. What do you pick out first yep. to work on? I reckon just trying to connect like the feet and the hand a yeah, little right. bit, rather yep. than trying to like bowl it or just kind of punch yes. it. Guilty. <laughs> Doing these ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just yeah. trying to make sure it didn't hit my ear and give me a piercing. Oh, I think we've all done that. Back yeah. of the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the tartan. Yeah, yeah. Not the uh, tartan couch, uh, but on the tartan, yes. Well, Mondo now. <laughs> Mondo. Don't we? Yeah, exactly. It's all changing. Yeah, so, um, and I'm assuming you just know straight away whether it's going to be a good one. Like, yeah. As soon as it comes out. It's funny, a couple of us went out for dinner last night and we were talking about it. We were saying, do you know, like, or when do you know that you've hit a good one? And I was saying last night, before my right foot even landed, after yep. my impulse set, I knew, I just knew really? I was in the right position and I knew wow. it was going to go. Yeah. It's quite, in that moment, yep. it's, it's so surreal. You're like, yep. I'm, in the, I'm in the right position here, so this thing's going to fly. Yep. And then when you connect it, it's, oh, yeah, it's such a it. sweet feeling must be a rush absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just because you you've set yourself up in such a good position that once it's released like there's obviously there's just all comes together and it's just like out through the yeah. javelin and you hit it through the bullseye and it's just woo. wow because yeah. i was like this afterwards yeah yeah, yeah. well you weren't far off your pb were you no, last night only like oh, 30 centimeters ish yeah exactly Let's go to Con Games, man. Um, I think you were in fourth position coming to the final throw, was that right? Yeah, yeah so I Cut. held like third for like four rounds. Yep. Yeah, I think because I threw it on the second, and then we were like, Aussies were like one, two, three for that round. Yeah. And then Sinet came back. So I think, yeah, I held, held third for like, yeah, the four rounds, three rounds. And then Catherine comes out <laughs> and just hits one final round. You know, nothing left, put it all out there. Yeah. And then goes into third. And then I had to come out and kind of back it up. Yeah. Well, that's that's Ooh. massive performance under pressure. Like, you must have been stoked, and your coach must have been stoked with that as well. Oh, wow, yeah. It just yeah. was... And it, it was actually probably the worst setup I gave myself for that, um, for the competition, because they're starting at 200 meters. Yeah. And I kind of got on the track and I was like, okay, set myself. And then they set the, they were like set for the turn. And I was like, oh, can I just wait for the gun? Yeah. And the lady was like, oh no, no, your clock started. Oh. And cause I've, I'd what? never practiced with a clock before. Yeah, I didn't yeah, yeah. know like how long things took and like how long my setup was. So you I just saw this clock crept counting down and I was yeah. just like, oh God, I gotta go. Okay, just like, and just ran. Wow, <laughs> wow, that's awesome. And I almost think it was to my advantage because yeah. I, I just wasn't thinking about anything else yep. other than just starting my run up and it yep. kind of, I, th I reckon that probably set me up even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the South African got a silver there. Kind of upset. We thought we were going to get the three oh, in the bag. And it was so close. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So close. So on that night, how much sleeping happened? <laughs> Minimal. Actually, why don't we say, when, was this, when did you sleep? Like about 15 days after? Or? Oh, I reckon about five days yeah. afterwards I actually finally got a good yeah, sleep. Yeah. Who was the first person you called? Uh, well, oh, I didn't actually have my phone on me. Yeah, right. Oh, I had got bombarded by social media yeah. and the battery just went... Yeah, right. Like, just 
so I uh, put the phone away, just kind of enjoyed the night with everyone who was out. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so it was obviously Kim and my roommate Kim Mohol yeah, had yeah, competed yeah. the same day, which was awesome. Yeah. And so she was there as well, and then Gab Neighbor, yep. um, Timmy Driesen, Hugh Peacock. Yep. Yeah, and party time. Yeah, right, and then right. all of Kim's family were out as well, so that was just a really fun night. And then the following day, I kind of got some time to spend with like um, family and yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Now your goals would have to be, I'm assuming the big goals would be 2016 Rio, but then 2020. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. So 2016 is on the cards for sure. Yep. And kind of. Oh, I still want to make an impact with the Olympics, yep. but 2020 will be, it's the one. I'm on the podium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How good's that going to be? Oh. That's it, you're on the podium already, don't we? better ring them up and just book a spot and just say something. Just reserve that for me, please. Yeah. You're confident in that? Yeah. 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 You should be, definitely. Uh, if I can get through the next couple of years injury free that's the hardest thing with the jab isn't it it's a, well, it's people a say that they're yeah. like it's just kind of like common knowledge if you're a javelin thrower oh you're gonna have to have you're gonna have injuries yeah. but if you if you don't have injuries how much of an advantage yeah, do you exactly. have yeah so that's definitely the the main goal is to stay injury free because then you get such a good base of training in yep. and you can make the most of the kind of off season that we get yeah um, without having to kind of always delay it or push it back a little bit yeah, yeah managing yeah. injuries so definitely yeah. what about life off the field um yeah. <laughs> what do you like to do in your downtime oh well but previously i was kind of studying and working a lot yep. and that studying exercise and coaching science yep. and yeah that filled up quite a lot of my time but I graduated at the end of last year and I was kind of like, oh, yeah, I'll take the first six months off and just yeah. kind of really like get involved in my training and spend my extra time there, you know, the recovery aspect or the whatever else. And now I find myself just kind of sitting around yeah, right. trawling social media. Yeah, I was going to say, getting on social media. <laughs> How's the flies in here? We've got a yeah, couple of flies just cruising around. What's the go? This is Canberra, eh? Hey? In the car. Yeah, in the car <laughs> with the fly. That's right. It happens to be Mossy and at that jab girl. Woo! Um, okay, so that's post. Let's just have a look uh, off the pitch as well. Music wise, I always like to know what kind of tunes oh. are you into. <laughs> I was a bit scared you were going to ask me uh. this question. <laughs> so I'm hard either, hitting here I'm in the car. I'm either going to get Mossy. stabbed or there's going to be some like hard banter yes. um, after this. Cause Viva? I, Is this what you're no, no, direction? I, I am a Nickelback fan. Yeah, right, cool. Yeah. yeah. So I, I mentioned that the other week at Throws Camp and I almost died. <laughs> oh, really? They got into you? Oh, Kim was like on the table, like, rah! <laughs> <laughs> classy, classy. Uh, obviously, being an Akadaka fan and and that, she was like, what are you doing listening yeah. to? She's insane on the guitar, too, yeah, isn't she? Yeah, amazing. It's awesome. And one, one thing about the um, field in particular is that everyone's, there's just such great camaraderie. That's me looking from the outside looking in, that yeah. everyone's, like the, the discus guys are watching Matt Denny and Julian Ruck and yeah. they're just helping each other out and talking about things and yeah, is it the same with you guys? I noticed that as well at our throws camp. Everyone gets involved and yeah. um, you know, there's always things to learn and people are so, um, you know, willing to give that information as well. And it's great, like we get to enjoy our social time Yep. outside like away from competition we can get together and really have a laugh and yeah and enjoy that which is really nice it's it's good to know that we can be friends yeah outside of comp but then know when to switch on and say i'm here to do my job and yeah you know let's push each other see if, see what we can get out of each other today and it's it's really it's a great place to be yeah who do you like Best out of human cast. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that. Can't say that. It's terrible. How so. can you ask that question? Yeah, they're both just great girls. No, um, they really are. For sure. I got the opportunity to kind of get to know Catherine a lot more at Kaisco. Yeah. Um, I yeah. kind of met Kim a few times around the circuit in previous years. So that was really nice to get that chance. I was going to say, say good day to Tuggeranong. We'll go down here and we'll chuck a left and see how that goes. Are you familiar? Do you know just where we are? Circles, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I just can't get enough of talking with Kelsey Lee Roberts. That's for sure. Food, come on. Oh, Food. Yeah, what do we go for? Do you cook? Oh, I love cooking. Love cooking? Yeah. yeah excellent. Can't go past a good bit of uh, crispy skin salmon. Right. On like, any sort of homemade salad. Wow, yeah. nice. 
Yeah, salmon's good, there's no doubt about it. I know, and it's so hard not being at the coast. <laughs> yes. We don't get I, I have a little bit of a thing that um, never eat seafood unless you're within a couple of k's from the coast. So if you go going out to Broken Hill and they're cooking like barramundi, and I'm thinking that barramundi had to come a long way. Like where is that fish been? Exactly right. Well, as we find our destination here, Kelsey Lee Roberts, thank you very much for joining In The Car With Mossy today. And uh, most importantly, can't wait to see you on the podium at yeah. uh, your next big meet. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Thanks for having me. Perfect. Now, I do have one last thing. Oh. <laughs> we have a presentation. These are limited edition. Oh, yeah. Run, jump, chuck shirts with all the tour dates on the background just in case you forget where you've got a chuck. Oh, thanks. But thanks very much. My for... very own. Yeah. Very good. That's Kelsey Lee Roberts.